Hey, uh, welcome to another episode of um, the Brain Tickle. Is that what I'm calling it? Uh, this is my other channel. I'm just trying to. It's hard to really get into the second one because my other one is uh, watches, which is already tough enough. But uh, I'm trying to find a way to put more time into the second one, which is just a bunch of fun things that I like and and. Uh, this entertaining tickle of the brain, I guess. And anyways, I got another one of these uh, loot crates, sci-fi. Uh, this one is Battle Scar, uh, Battle Scar, Battle Star Galactica, uh, focused and uh, themed. And uh, we're gonna check it out. Uh, finally got it. This is about. It's, this got this about yesterday or the day before. I forget Monday or Tuesday, of a. Uh, uh, let's see, almost at the end of the third week of September, almost at the end of the month, and I think this was supposed to have come out June, possibly Ju July or June, even or August. I don't, I don't even know. It just seems like it was delayed, was COVID or whatever. Finally here, um, and let's see. I think generally it's on a subscription, which I had. I'll get into that later. Um, it's around 40-ish dollars, I think. Not quite 50. But I don't think it's in the 30s. I forget. I think it's more or less 40 bucks. I gotta check the price, but you can see that. And we're gonna see if this is worth it. And I think in my last video with uh, the Expanse crate, the uh, sci-fi crate, um, it kind of confirmed what I basically believe is that these are generally kind of a waste of money. <laughs> but, you know, they kind of throw in little hints of this and that that you might get. Or maybe that you will get. They, they will actually show you one or two items for certain that's going to be in these these um, kind of surprise packages. And um, um, then the rest is kind of a mystery. So we're going to see if this lives up to it or not. I kind of doubt it. Uh, this, like any other one, doesn't matter what theme it is. They, uh, they have a cool Transformer one that's actually coming out soon. But <clears throat> again, you don't know what you're going to get. Any one of these. Even if you're going like, uh, what are the other ones? There's one that uh, you get toys or some other mix things. There's, there's a lot of these type of things. Like even subscription for clothing and shaving kits and all sorts of stuff you know it's like you don't have time to look but you want to pay someone basically to do the shopping for you to find some cool things to put together for you you give them some idea what you want cater to to cater to but um then they get it then hopefully you like it if not well i guess you can return it but um but uh yeah and it's like the oh so yeah you know, there's some for like watch club right they, they throw in some watches that supposedly you want or maybe not and but uh, we're going to get into all that later so before we go into this what are my expectations and uh i know for certain there should be at least a t-shirt um whether they updated the size because i originally signed up and asked to you know have them send me any you know t-shirts give me a medium got the medium in my last crate the expanse it does fit, but I do wish that I had upped it to the large. Just just get that extra looseness for the, for a t-shirt, you know, would be nice. Um, probably slightly more comfortable. It's not super tight or anything of a medium, but uh, I do like a little looser fit for you know um, things that are just more you know graphic and more fun oriented. You know, if it's like a plain tee or something, probably better you know something that's a little bit more fitted will probably look uh, a little cleaner but anyways so let's see if they updated that i have a feeling they didn't because when they got the sent email they put an m didn't really say what that was for but it's that they mean they gave me a medium size again so let's see because i did ask and then they supposedly email supposedly what they did email me back and said that, yeah we got the update on it so we'll change it uh, but i don't know i kind of doubt that so let's see they're supposed to be um some sort of i wonder how big it is it might be real tiny there's like a kind of a plaque with a viper on it and maybe it gives some specs on it i forget they showed that those they showed that on 
on Facebook or Instagram or whatever they, they do to tease these things, you know, that's your get, definitely getting, it's kind of like a side view cutouts, you know, it's, it's three dimensional, but it's on the plaque and then you got the Viper on the bottom and it's facing sideways, I think this way. And from this angled view, it looks like it's half of it. So, I mean, I guess it's just supposed to put it on the wall and you just kind of see it there, but I think it would be cool if they actually made, if that actually is a complete three dimensional model or miniature or whatever that's just kind of embedded inside the thing the plaque and maybe you can pop it out um that would be cool to be able to see it all around um but if it's just one half uh, well what can you do that's what i'm gonna go for also um i mean that's what you just have to go with and um the other thing too is i guess these this is supposed to have both Things from the original series from the, was it, the 70s? Kind of in the early 80s, but they, I think the, the basic core series was basically in the 70s. There was like a later, like Battlestar Galactica 1980 that I didn't even know about until I, I found out about this a long time ago. And I just happened to like, okay, let's check this out. And uh, I forgot where I found it. Uh, but uh, it's like, it was, I couldn't watch it. It looked so goofy because... Um, they're basically, they did make it to Earth or something, and it's during the 80s, and so they changed out the colonial uniforms, you know, how they, they used out these kind of, you know, biker boots or something, and the tan outfits with the brown leather suede jackets, right, if you remember the original series. It was, it was actually a pretty cool look, uh, I thought, um, very original. Um, nothing else I can think of in sci-fi ever really looked like that, you know, so that was uh a cool unique look and then anyways and then do you remember the episode where they i forget what beings they were we forgot the name of the episode it's been so long but they end up changing their whole outfit into like a complete white outfit like they met these like angels or guardians of the galaxy or something like that i, I forget the exact story i gotta rewatch the original series but if you remember that where they are where they basically transformed into like uh the, their uniforms all turned white and i guess they were technically dead and then they got revived i forget the exact story they have kind of that look in this 1980s galactica um but then it's i don't i forget why they have white or did they even have the brown version but one thing that was funny that i remember is they got rid of the the, the boots that went up to the knees and then they they went for bell bottoms <laughs> yeah it's it's so goofy um this I guess when in Rome, right in nineteen eighties, in, uh, in the United States, that's what you kind of look like. Anyways, so you're supposed to have something from the original series and something from the new, newer. It's not new now. It's been I can't believe it's been over fifteen years already since it came out. The uh, reimagined Battlestar Galactica, which I believe this style logo is from, uh, that was originally premiered on Sci Fi, and they you know really. Uh, Reinvented some of the characters like Boomer, it's like an Asian girl instead of the black dude. Um, Starbucks, very obvious one. That's a major character. Um, went from a dude to a girl, and Katie Sackhoff did an excellent job. And I, overall, I really like the 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 uh, the remake, uh, reimagined version of it. it uh, it's really cool. It kind of went off towards the end a bit, but overall, uh, great drama and everything. I I liken it to basically um the expanse kind of you know there's a lot of high dr you know drama and and um and uh things are kind of more realistic in this not completely but they do have some practical weapons you know more something that's uh seems like uh more down to earth than just laser blasters and just the whole science behind it seems more uh, uh more thought out than the original series you know but anyways Let's pop this open because I've babbled on for almost over nine minutes and we'll see what's in here. Am I going to be, what am I going to be? Am I going to be pleasantly surprised or am I going to be like sorely disappointed? Here we go. Hmm. What do we have here? First off, let's check out the t-shirt. Did they get the size right? No, of course not. It's still medium. But, um, it seems... And it's a long sleeve tee, too. Oh, check this out. It's got the... 
Baptist, by your command. You know, I do it with a silent voice. Anything on this arm? Nope. Anything on the back? Nope. Just on the front. So, that's cool. I like... It's kind of, uh, you know, um, obviously stylized, but of the original Battlestar Galactica Cylon. And which is cool, and the re imagine one they actually kind of took inspiration from this and kind of made it more realistic they didn't look like a person in a in a you know clunky metal suit it looked more realistic but they kept a lot of the, the, the chest kind of pieces and the way the head was shaped and and um, a number of other elements and it was kind of cool how they kind of pushed these guys back into there and they did a number of those things in the the past for them like uh you look at this kind of spin-off movie, Blood and what is it called? Battlestar called Blood and Iron? No. Oh, Blood and Steel. Chrome. I think that was what it was called. Yeah. It's kind of like a prequel to the Battlestar Galactica and they show young uh William Adama and then they kind of had like the old Viper. I mean it looks pretty close to the ones that they had in the show, which was their main ones, but it's like it looks older and also the the uniform, the space uniforms actually had Kind of like that brownish tint and some of the the elements that you've seen from the original series. But anyways, so that's cool. I, I dig this. Um, I always like the way these islands sort of look like, to be honest, when they've got the red eyes. Although, I think... The way they made this look like, I think it would have been better if they left one side... Made just the center part red, right? Or at least offset it or something. Because now it looks like he has two red eyes. And, you know, these are kind of famously known for having that one red scanner eye that goes left and right. <laughs> right, so... But, um, it's alright. It's cool. Let me gauge the size here. I mean, I think this should fit. I'm, I, I am basically a pretty solid medium, but I can push large depending on what I've eaten. So that's that. And okay, we have here. We have a Cylon hat, it looks like. Let's see. Hopefully this is big enough too. I don't remember them asking me for my hat size, but this is adjustable, so. So that's how that looks like. I gotta just wear it low so that this is this is actually in line with my actual eyes, you know, really put this on my head low and I can walk around like this and bump into things. <laughs> or I can maybe drill some holes in here <laughs> so I can actually look through it. Yeah, I'd be a complete dork, but that's kind of neat. People will be wondering what this is at first, but I guess if you're into the show or something, then you can kind of briefly explain it. I mean, this is definitely also, again, based off of the more old um, Cylon kind of look that they had in the, in the visor. This probably doesn't show it off that much. Um, in relationship, I have to say, shouldn't this be, either this is more narrower I mean, I'm just thinking proportionately, right? The, this journey is a little bit more narrow, and then, or this should be larger. And actually, it would have been cool if not only just a little bit larger, but maybe have it like have a trail or something like it's, you know, it's got that kind of after effect of moving left and right, right? So it's just moved to the left. So maybe you might have a trail here. I think that might have been kind of a cool effect that they could have done that. And if you take that away, <laughs> You know what this looks like? Well, if you're into sci-fi, then I think off the, quickly, just looking at this part of it, this kind of T-visor, not bubble fit, but obviously what he spawned or kind of uh, the army they base off of him, it looks like a, a clone trooper. Kind of looks like a clone trooper. I bet you people will think this is a clone trooper. Um, that's probably got someone shot him in the eye. <laughs> Anyways, so... At least I got a new hat. Um, can always use that. It's fun. Uh, I see something that might be pretty cool here. Ah, cool. Oh, I thought that was actually, I thought it was saying Pegasus. At first, from the distance, Primus, first in the fleet. What is this from? 
Bash Arco what's a, is this let's see what this is. So also I, was, I forgot to put this in the video before I opened it. I was thinking what I was to expect. What I would hope not to get is another you know rehash of stuff that they've done before, like the expanse that a uh, little miniature um uh, Rosinante Starship. It's a cool thing, but you know, I got it off Amazon before that for I guess it had been out sometime before that and they probably sold the surplus to somebody and they sold it for really cheap because I got it for like five bucks or less and basically got the same thing in the glue crate. So I was like, ah, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, if I had known I was going to get loot crate and all that, then I probably wouldn't have done that. Oh, it's not just one. It's a couple of them. I, okay, that's cool. Uh, this one's cool. Raptors. First, I wasn't too keen on the design. It looked kind of a little bulky, at least compared to the Vipers. But, you know, these things are actually pretty tough and utilitarian and pretty heavily armored too and they also can act as like a, a scout you know a recon like they have like advanced sensors to kind of go ahead of the uh, the fleet or something or the squadron and um yeah so that's cool i like that this i wonder is, is this one of the um doesn't really say here are these all oh, this is a little bit different huh these designs here i wonder what they mean this kind of looks like the back of a viper and the, the, there is this is the viper top view you can see the shape of it vigilantes i gotta rewatch the show and figure out what this is specifically from like whose squadron is this part of i wonder if this is actually part of the galactica or i'm thinking this is part of the pegasus um you know when they they finally they were lost and they finally met up with another uh, battle star, which was the Pegasus, which is cool. I think that was one of the, some of the best episodes when they brought uh, the Pegasus in and and the crew from that and all the the drama that ensued from that. And it's cool just to have that ship because just to see another battle star and the, how they how the they're all a little bit different if you look at all the other battle stars before they got destroyed. Uh, but at least the Pegasus in the show look very much uh, inspired and and. Uh, uh, you know, close to the original series of Battlestar Galacta, actually, more so than the Galactica itself uh, in the the, re <laughs> the Rise version. But that's cool. I'm happy it wasn't just one. Well, we got three. Uh, I love embroidered patches. Um, I used to have a jacket. I used to have a bunch of stuff and maybe cool little pins, too. Um, I don't think... I should properly put all these on one because they are from different uh, squadrons of some sort. But um, I guess maybe I need different jackets for these <laughs> or something. Cool, cool, cool. Very cool. Uh, already, I'm pretty pleased. I like, you know, this is this is a quality piece. You know, the the, the expanse one was kind of rubbish. Uh, again, one rehash. Um, the t-shirt was cool. That's the main thing I liked was that Rocinante kind of artwork with the uh, um, proto, proto molecule kind of tattoo kind of thing. It could glow better. I admit it wasn't the best glowing one, but under the right lighting condition, they show up all right. What else do we have here? Ooh, Viper Mark II pre-flight, post-flight checklist. Or something, right? Let's take a look at this. Is this basically a journal? This is, that's what I imagine. Do you think this is actually something printed on here? It's probably just a journal, just to write stuff. Should be fine. I have, yep, completely blank. <laughs> but I guess this is for me to research and write down my notes so I know how to, you know, do my pre fight checklist and before I launch my Viper. Okay, got a little interrupt there. So let's move on. I'll pack this back up later. I think this is the sculpture thing because there's nothing else in here that could signify that. So what do we got here? Frack, yes. Luke Sci-Fi is doing Bastard Collector. Takeover, collectors and gear. Well, that's the thing, you know. 
with these things hopefully you get like maybe the t-shirts or some other items here or more of as much as possible or exclusive to you know this loot crate sci-fi thing so that you know it's like oh okay well i could have bought this and that somewhere else like i did with that that um Rosinati, and I did look around to see if there was anything else floating out there from prior loot crates for Battlestar Galactica because I'm sure they've done more than this once at least. Um, and there is like this kind of super deformed little like Cylon Viper and uh, Cylon Raider like from the from the new show. Uh, that's that's um, uh, you know, it's got the long more uh organic looking ships that they have in there and it's i think it's scar so it looks kind of battle scarred and bloody if i recall but um i was hoping they would not put that in here this i don't although i don't have one um i guess I, it would have been okay to have gotten it but just the fact that they ah they rehashed it just knowing that that would have been kind of a disappointment again you know watch out for sun so say we all this is what's supposed to be in here. Um, so we have this, this we saw, the shirt, the patches. Oh, Trace Dog tag pin, and that's right over here. Cool. Oh, this is like, um, well, you should have just given us a damn dog tags. I don't need the pin of it. I'd rather have the dog tags on a necklace, you know, like, have it on uh, the chain and should be a hole through here, right? We wear it around your neck like a dog tag. Uh, I think that would have been cooler than, than having a pin of it. Probably could make it. I gotta take a look at the show and see how it's actually done. Is it Does it even actually look like this? And if it does, then figure out if, where I can put a hole in it, if it did, and lose the pin. It should be, yeah, it's cold, it is metal. So, um, well, it should be exclusive because it says loot crate, right? But either way, it's, this is still pretty cool. Um, you know, I think a lot of people when they first watch the show, especially if you've been fans of the original, they weren't too sure about changing um, but, uh, um, <laughs> I want to say butterscotch for some reason. So, uh, <laughs> Starbucks, Starbucks, uh, to, to male to female, Kara Thrace, you know. Uh, that's her name, or I guess not her call sign, which is uh, Starbuck, right? Um, but it turned out to be a pleasant surprise, and she's great in that. And uh, oh, what's her name that plays her? Uh, uh, I had mentioned earlier, I'm drawing a blank. But she did a great job in The Mandalorian as... Um, as uh, oh, I have the action figure too somewhere. I should know these off the top of my head, but uh, I have a long work day, so I draw blanks. But you know what I'm talking about if you know about the series. But anyways, let's check this out. Oh, by the way, what the heck does this mean? Alternate view? What the hell are they talking about? This looks like the same thing. Blueprint diorama. It looks exact. What's different about it? Viper Mark II, Viper Mark II. What well, alternate view? The, the Viper's still facing the same direction. All they did was just like, all they did was just like angle it this way. That's that's your alternate view. Either straight on or three quarters rear. How about this one? This is another alternate view, right? Or even this way. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe there is something to this. So here's the box. Yeah, 3D blueprint. I really hope this thing is completely 3D. I can't tell from this. Uh, so that it's at least something. They didn't just give you a half starship fighter. They actually, hopefully, they actually, you know, gave you the whole thing. It's just, you know, in this, this display, which hopefully you can just pop out and check out fully. But who knows? They might have done something foolish like that. No biggie, because I actually, I see, I see you open, open it in the back, you open it this way with the wiper facing you. It's supposed to be exclusive. Uh, I think it's just only half. <laughs> yeah, there's the other half. 
I don't think, even if you wanted to buy two of these and glue them together, they'd be the same side. So you wouldn't actually have it. <laughs> How? <laughs> this is so silly. Is this it? I think that's what they actually are referring to. You can look at it this way, or this is your alternate view. <laughs> or this. Well, geez, and you pretty much, you got an infinite amount of alternate views. Well, that's, I mean, there's a slight stain on this part, huh? Can you see that? No big deal. These things should be like battle dirty and beat up anyways. I don't know if I would call this a 3D blueprint. There's not really anything, and this, this blaster is kind of, kind of wilted, huh? That should be straight. I better be careful and hope I don't snap this off trying to flex it back up. If I do, oh well, I guess I'll just have to glue it straight. Straighter. That's at least a little better. Gotta be careful, this thing's probably not the quality plastic. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's not really a blueprint, you know, you don't, you know, when you see blueprints, you usually, sometimes you even see right through it, um, and it's blue, right? And on top of that, it says, get me here, Colonial Defense Force. And it might have, like, little things coming off of it that tell you what the little details are, um, right? Maybe even exploded partial view just to show you a diagram of how the engine is set up or, or something else inside this. So I'm not sure if calling this a 3D blueprint is completely accurate. Ugh. Additionally, um, it's not exactly 3D. This is 2D still. This is new, almost 3D, but you only get like half of the 3D. So is it like 1.5D? Give me a better look. Anyways, kind of what I was expecting was hoping it would be the whole ship that I can just pop out, right? You can just check out every angle of it. That would have been cool, but no big deal. I do have a set of um, scale model kits of this uh, Viper Mark II. So one of these days I'm going to do a build, probably show it. And uh, I'll get my complete Viper Mark II in all its glory on both, all, all sides. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is just basically to be put on wall for display anyways. Although, kind of doing half of it seems kind of silly. You know. Especially if they kind of, if anything, they should have done like a whole half and put it on top here. Yeah, so, how do I feel about this? Well, I think um, I pretty much stated at the beginning. Uh, it's really tough. I mean, for 40-ish dollars, even if it's pushing 50, maybe it's just under, is it worth it? I would say still probably mostly not. Um, the way I see it is, yeah, if, you, if you're into surprises and you don't care about exactly what you're getting, as long as you're getting something, um, and hopefully you don't already have it, and you shouldn't have any of these exclusives, um, then sure, you know, that's the part of the fun, right, I guess. But, um, as I see it, if you're into collectibles and stuff, and if you really want the cool stuff, I say save your money, or rather spend spend your money on something that you know that you want. I mean, you're into like you want a nice model starship. You can get these from I think Eagle Moss. Uh, they do a lot of starships like Star Trek. Star. Well, I don't think they do Star Wars, but they do. I know they do Battlestar Galactica, and maybe some other sci-fi stuff. And uh, they're they're pretty good. I mean, considering they're pre-made and, and all painted and everything else, and you got a decent stand and the scale of them generally are pretty decent too. I think 
I haven't seen these in person, but I, I believe they're still pretty good. Um, you can do that, or you can. There's plenty of model kits out there. Um, I think the one I got is from. I can't even remember. It's uh, I had it off the top of my head. Uh, they've done some other um, some other Battlestar Galactica, like the Battlestar Galactica, the Cylons. It's not EMT Ertl. It's um. It's not polar lights either. It's some Mobius. That's it. Mobius. Um, I mean, I guess I could use this. I don't. I don't write much, <laughs> but I do draw. So this might be a fun little journal just to draw. I do like my pins, so I, this is cool. But I think if I look at the show and I think that I can modify this to maybe even look like more of the dog tag, then I might try that. That might be make it feel a little more authentic. This is probably the cool one of the coolest things in the pack. Uh, the three patches. This, they seem like pretty decent quality. I'm not. Sh I didn't check. I wonder if they're iron-ons too. I would probably. I usually would just embroider them because it's just it seems like a nicer thing to do. I mean, like you know, like actually stitch them on. But it is. I can feel the backing. They are iron-on too, so you don't have to. Uh, actually stitch them in uh, so it's actually quite easy unless you're trying to do it on something that's um whatchamacallit something that uh um could melt from high heat like a a jacket that's made out of uh, nylon or some sort of synthetic material that can melt under high heat then you might want to actually try to embroider that and that's what i've done for some other stuff uh, so I'm just gonna put this away. So is it worth it? Uh, like I said, that's I digress. But um, I think spending, spending, you know, look look for what you really like and try to go for that. If you want the Viper, um, go for it. I think probably people make patches. I don't know specifically to those, but you might be able to get those too. There are some other Bashar Galactic T-shirts, and is this all that super fantastic? It's cool. But um, I'm not super blown away by that t-shirt necessarily. But I will have some fun with it. I think it's still cool. Um, but say, I'm thinking of like like a lot of the toy subscriptions. I said it's from Loot Crate as well. Even if it's the, the trans, they have a Transformer ones coming up. I think maybe it's not strictly Transformers. It could be mixed with 80s stuff like G.I. Joe, Thundercats, I think. Maybe something else. It could be pretty cool potentially i haven't seen exactly what they're going to give you and they don't give you that till like later and then maybe they might just tease one other thing and the rest is complete mystery so you don't know exactly how many things you'll get after the, maybe the one or two things that they'll show unless those things really grab you and blow you away you could probably skip it again like for transformers or something for instance i'd rather um you know, there's so many people that make, I mean, Hasbro is still making some pretty cool Transformers. And then Takara, the, the Japanese brand that, that does the the Transformers as well. They have their Masterpiece series, which is really like top-notch, but they're pretty darn expensive. Um, but And then there's a lot of cool third-party ones now um, that make all sorts of characters that the Takara or Hasbro hasn't done. Uh, just to fill in those gaps in your collection and they do a damn good job of, uh, of making some of the characters they may not be branded but there's so many ways you can get like reproduction labels and stuff like that stickers to so just to make it look like it's like an official toy or at least a character that's from the show or the cartoon or whatever however you know you're going about it like what's your thing some people like to collect it more on the, the toy side like how it looks like in the g1 some people like to do the animation or the cartoon look i kind of like a mixture of both but anyways yeah for instance for transformers i probably wouldn't get the crate don't know if i can get there could be some stuff but i don't know if i want to spend 40 50 dollars of that on and it's not even all transformers as far as i'm aware and so it's like uh for that much um, I'd put it, look at it for certain characters that I really like as a toy and I'd probably just go and try to buy one of those straight up instead of 
Okay, so when you start getting these and then your subscription, you start getting a bunch of stuff that you probably don't going to look at again um, after you initially open the box. So you start collecting all this junk, basically, that's just going to sit there, you know. Um, it's probably not going to be all worth that much, to be honest. So uh, it's not like you can save it for a rainy day and cash out on it or something. Uh, it's just basically going to sit there until you decide to try to sell it if you can and or just basically give it away because it's probably not worth that much um it's just going to be clutter and uh why you know it's like any other kind of subscriptions where you kind of almost don't have full control of what you're getting uh you let them someone else do the shopping for you yeah i don't know i i think shopping is kind of and looking doing going for that is part of the fun so, uh, and then once you find it, then, you know, exactly what you're looking for, at least as close to it as, as maybe is available for the times. Because there's some things that I think I'd like, that they're, they haven't made exactly like the toy or something that I, I want of it. So, um, you may not get exactly that. But anyways, the point is, I think for that much money, either you spend a little less, the same amount, or even more, I think... If you just focus on getting what you want and then just get that instead of just getting, you know, a bunch of stuff that's kind of, I would say at best, kind of so-so-ish uh, for the most part. If not, kind of, it's like, eh, yeah, some things just didn't do it for me. Like the Atlas uh, Expanse, like a, this half globe kind of paperweight. I mean, I don't, I don't need paperweights and they look kind of cheaply printed. There's a flask. I don't really use flask to drink and it also looks a little bit cheaply printed. Like if I washed it, that all that graphic that they put on around the, that metal flask would probably just kind of flake off or rub off after a couple of washes. I, I, that's how I imagine it. Doesn't, it just didn't feel that great. Um, what else was there? There was a rehash toy. Again, pretty much worthless. Except maybe uh, if I get around to it, I might repaint it to another version paint job that uh, Rosinante went through. Oh, uh, what else? Yeah, so, yeah, so anyways, that's why I did cancel my subscription. The next one that's coming up for this loot sci-fi is, I believe, Doctor Who base. And I wasn't, I know it's been a show that's been on forever and and it's actually evolved and had several versions of it, I think. That's what I know about it at most. But um, and that's about it. I never really got into Doctor Who, so that's why it's not for me uh, anyway. So I... You can also choose to skip it, but I think after two tries and seeing what I'm getting for the money, I think it's a pass uh, from future on because there's just not enough in here that I would say it's worth it for me to for them to just grab 40, 50 bucks or so, roughly, right? 40-ish, whatever it is, uh, out of my bank account just to get a bunch of stuff they just gathered and wait heck along for it because covid or whatever i get it but still you know it's not every it's supposed to be this is a quarterly so you get it every three months and it's not been they've been delayed and for the stuff that you're getting for all that weight and then plus the money that you they just took out for this and for you to fi finally find out what the hell you got for your money eh, yeah you can probably pass on it i mean for this uh, i could have probably bought like a cool eagle moss replica of the, you know some of the starships already and that that probably would have done it for me for Battlestar Galactica little little uh collectible collectible mini binge you know just to get something in to fill that void of my collection of sci-fi stuff um I had a little bunch more before but that's a different story uh or use it towards something else maybe uh what are the other something Star Wars or something I don't know there's tons of stuff out there that you can get that's cool that's for about this much money probably more but you know you had that much that you that that this was worth that you could have put into something that you probably like a lot more and actually keep and have you know have more cool or fun factor with versus this enjoy this stuff other than the t-shirt i don't even know if i'll get around to using the patches anytime or that dot the pin uh what else was there the hat eh, it's, it's kind of just an okay design i'm not really thrilled by it but i don't know We'll see that's it's basically a t-shirt for the most part <laughs> and maybe if i get around to using the journal i, I don't know see right it's basically a t-shirt for 40-ish dollars 
you know, with the extras. Um, I don't know if you see it that way, but anyways, this game long, got to cut it at 40 minutes. So, uh, hope this has been somewhat insightful. This is what you get if you still can buy into this or if you haven't opened yours yet. Well, there you go. Maybe you might consider <laughs> either is it, this is your bag of tricks or uh, something that you really like. Or it's like, well, you know what? This guy was right. Let's send it back if I can <laughs> and get my money back towards something else. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'm uh, doing my best to try to make more regular and very contents. I think the only thing I've put up so far with these loot crate things, but I definitely have a lot more other stuff that's in the house and where I've been getting, collecting. I just haven't had time to present it because I'm busy as hell. But uh, anyways, we'll see how this goes. Thanks. Later.